Good morning. It is the Saturday before Sunday. Uh, we have canceled church at in person on Sunday because of the weather, because it's so cold out. <clears throat> so hopefully this will go well. Uh, Sunday is February 14th, known as Valentine's Day. Um, that's a good holiday to celebrate, the celebration of marriage and the saint who was not willing to give up the right for people to be married. Uh, but it's also Transfiguration Sunday, which is really the focus of our day, uh, when Jesus Christ showed his glory to the disciples on the mountain right before he went to Jerusalem to begin the Passion Week. Um, we will have Ash Wednesday this Wednesday. Um, it's supposed to be in Waverly. Hopefully the weather will allow. Uh, we begin then with Beautiful Savior, Hymn 537. Beautiful Savior, King of creation, Son of God and Son of Man, truly I love Thee, truly I serve Thee, Light of my soul, my joy, my crown. Fair are the meadows, fair are the woodlands, robed in flowers of blooming spring. Jesus is fairer, Jesus is purer, He makes our soaring spirit sing. Fair is the sunshine, Fair is the moonlight, bright the sparkling stars on high. Jesus shines brighter, Jesus shines purer than all the angels in the sky. Beautiful Savior, Lord of the nations, Son of God, and Son of Man, glory and honor, praise, adoration, now and forevermore be thine. We are using service setting 3, found on page 184, which is the old TLH service. So we begin with confession and absolution. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart, and confess our sins unto God our Father beseeching him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. O Almighty God, merciful Father, I, a poor miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities, with which I have ever offended you, and justly deserve your present, your temporal and eternal punishment. But I am heartily sorry for them, and sincerely repent of them. And I pray you of your boundless mercy, and for the sake of the holy innocent, bitter and sufferings of death, 
of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to be gracious and merciful to me, a poor sinful being. Upon this your confession, I, by virtue of my office as a called and ordained servant of the word, announce the grace of God unto all of you. And in the stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to continue. I'm going to actually read Psalm 50 completely today, rather than reading it half verse by half verse, and that will serve as the basis of our sermon. So I'm going to read Psalm 50. The Mighty One, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes. He does not keep silent. Before him is a devouring fire, around him a mighty tempest. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me, my faithful ones, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will testify against you. I am God, your God. Now for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. Your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will not accept a bull from your house or goats from your folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the hills, and all that moves in the field is mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world and its fullness are mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and perform your vows to the Most High. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked, God says, What right have you to recite my statutes or take my covenant on your lips? For you hate discipline, and you cast my words behind you. If you see a thief, you are pleased with him, and you keep company with adulterers. You give me your mouth, you give your mouth free rein for evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I have been silent. You thought that I was one like yourself. But now I rebuke you and lay the charges before you. Mark this, then, you who forget God, lest I tear you apart and there be none to deliver. The one who offers thanksgiving as his sacrifice glorifies me. To one who orders his way rightly, I will show the salvation of God. And we continue by singing the Gloria Patri found on page 186. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, good will toward men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, 
Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, in the glorious transfiguration of your beloved Son, you confirm the mysteries of the faith by the testimony of Moses and Elijah. In the voice that came from the bright cloud, you wonderly foreshowed our adoption by grace. Mercifully make us co-heirs with the King in his glory, and bring us to the fullness of our inheritance in heaven. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.